let me know so I can take your call because yesterday you hang up and you run away. So this is what he said to me yesterday. You don't take it off. So this is from the previous call. Now he will call me soon. An elephant or elephant, it, it says elephant. So you stupid, you cannot take it off unless it's not part of the name. We have Muhammad Qasim waiting, go ahead. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Hey, my friend, how are you? Good, good. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, so do you want to have a debate on, on the breastfeeding verse? Oh, you want to talk about breastfeeding? Go ahead. Yeah, so if you can give me a time to speak. Sure, no problem. I'm listening, my friend. Go ahead. Okay, firstly, you know the, uh, the hadith that you put, um, started off the discussion with, which was about uh, goat eating the verse? That's actually weak. And uh, oh, it's weak. the takhrid of it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's weak. If you look, Muhammad ibn Ishaq is narrating with the word an, which hmm. makes it weak. Uh, you can find the scholars grading it in Shu'aib, um, Sheikh Shu'aib Arnut. Okay. Uh, he's classed as weak in the classification of Muslim Ahmad. Hmm. So this narration about goat eating, that's, that, that part is weak. Um, but even though, even let's say if it was uh, reliable, right? Mm. I think Darul Salam they they put it as Hassan. Mm. Uh, even if it is reliable, it doesn't take away from the ijma of the Sahaba, the consensus of the Sahaba that mm. the Quran is preserved. So that's one thing. Um, okay, we'll talk about the. What, what is the verse? Okay, my friend, what is the verse of a breastfeed of an adult in the Quran then? Like I said, it's weak. You know, it's weak like I said, it's weak. Like I said, it's weak. Like I said, it's weak. Uh, what does that mean? I mean, even the page there, it says it is Hassan, which means good. For those cowards, because they are ashamed of their prophet and their cult, now they are trying to make it... By the way, even weak is accepted. So this is what he says, weak. Weak is accepted. So when you call it weak, you idiot. It's not rejected. There is rejected and there is accepted. So weak, it had a rank. It's not thrown out as... Uh, what his name, uh, Sheikh Hamza, he said. He says, those who use the weak hadith as an argument, this is a weak argument. But look at this now. I will ask him, okay, what about the verses? I ask him, what is the verses of uh, 10 time breastfeeding? Where we can find those verses? Forget about the goat eating the Quran. Because now he says the Quran is preserved, right? Okay. Hmm. Uh, even if it is reliable, it doesn't take away from the ijma of the Sahaba. The consensus of the Sahaba that mm. the Quran is preserved. So that's one thing. Um, okay, we'll talk about the breastfeeding. What, what is the verse? Okay, my friend, what is the verse of a breastfeeding for adult in the Quran then? Like I said, it's weak. <laughs> it's <laughs> no. a weak hadith. So if there is if there is verses given to Muhammad about breastfeeding for adult or not? Not for adult. No, not for adult. Just to show you how easy, you know, this guy he hang up yesterday, he run and his tail between his legs. And he was saying, uh, go and see Fifi answering Christian Prince. You and Fifi and Mimi and Didi don't dare. You see, this is why you run away, you potato. This is Sahih Muslim. I remember he is the one who said Sahih Muslim is accepted. Sahih Bukhari is accepted. This is Sahih Muslim saying, I will make every everybody in the world laugh at you and your, at your prophet. Both of you are a scam. Do you think really those Muslims do not know that this is not a weak hadith? Don't you think that they are lying to their teeth? I mean, why he is saying, no, the Prophet did not give 10, Allah did not give verses of 10 time of adult for, uh, you know, uh, uh, for Muhammad or for the Muslims? Why he said that? It's in the front of you. What came from the Quran, it was 10 time breastfeeding. 10 time breastfeeding. What is the verses of 10 time breastfeeding? And which ones ever mentioned? The only one we know is it is for adult. And if the Quran is preserved, so the Quran 
had or supposed to have 10 time breastfeeding for adult or even if you want to say not for adult where we can find them and then it says and this is what is why yesterday he hang up when I asked him he said it's abrogated I said where it's abrogated where is the abrogation in the comment section he posted hadith about the abrogation but where are they in the Quran Where is the 10, uh, ten time breastfeeding in the Quran? And where is the five time breastfeeding in the Quran? It's not there. So they lie to their teeth because they are ashamed of their book. Muslim scholars, they have articles Confirming that this is a true hadith, that the breastfeeding for adult is absolutely true. Nobody says this is daif. You will notice when he was speaking to me, he says that part where the goat ate it, it's weak. Since when you can take a part and you don't accept the rest? The hadith is a hadith. You take it, you leave it. That part. So the rest is true. Hmm? they cannot maintain their religion or protect their religion without lying look how many times this is reported look how many times so where is and you know <laughs> <laughs> he was saying that Rida is to drink milk, but it's say, even here in the hadith here is explaining how to suck it. لا تحرم المصة ولا المصتان. And he was saying this is not about direct touch. <laughs> Yeah, so this is how those potatoes, you know, they try to defend their religion because they are bankrupt and anything is embarrassing, they say to you, it is weak. In the same time, even their website, it says good. And then they say, well, the scholars, they differ about it. I mean, what kind of a scholars this religion has? They cannot agree about anything. And the funny, he says, the Sahaba, they agree with it. What Sahaba? Where is the Sahaba who agree with that, you idiot? He named for me people, they are not companion of Muhammad. And this is Aisha, the wife of their prophet, saying that, and the wife of the prophet, she is practicing breastfeeding for adult. I asked him, was she a faithy woman? She said, no, this is her opinion. But why the wife of Muhammad, none of the caliphate at his, in her time, her father, her father, became a caliphate Uthman Omar why none of them says to her shame on you to do that this is wrong not a single person said that to her so anything is shameful anything is disgrace to this cult which is everything everything is about this cult is disgrace right away the Muhammadan they try to deny it and to cancel it from their religion and their culture and as long as it's proven to have 10 verses, 10 time, sorry, 10 time breastfeeding, who can recite for us those verses? And who can recite the verses of the five time? Can you? Cowardly, they hang up, they run away because they knew what it's coming. And then they said to themselves, we can save ourselves by posting comment in the comment section. Oh, this verse is abrogated. The second you said it's abrogated is the same second you agreed that this was for every woman, not for that woman alone. Remember he said, 
or that was for only for that women and then when we ask him okay what what is the purpose do if a man he drink milk of a woman of from a woman is that going to forbid him from having sex with her or she can be still lawful for him he said still she can be lawful so what the point you see they just to prove to us that their prophet is a perverted sex maniac person he is mentally ill he's making fun of them so if that will not do any change the man still can have sex with her and he will not be considered as her, as her son which is very stupid religion to be to believe that somebody drinks some your, your milk became your son and the muslim they say today to you that the hindu are wrong when the fact they are following hindu culture this is hinduism you drink the milk of the cow the cow is a mother so as long a man he sucked the nipples of a woman or even he claimed that he drank the milk still he can have sex with her and he can even marry her so what the point of this you see the stupidity but by time the muslims they notice how stupid this is so they start to bury it and this is what they are doing until now okay so no, there's, no, there's nothing concrete to, to suggest that there was a Okay, about, uh, so to, to, to understand what you are saying, you know, we are listening. Uh, you are saying it is weak, even though the website says it's good. Yeah, the scholars have differed upon it, so it's not reliable. Uh, so who is the scholar who can decide what is good, what is bad in Islam? Like, it's up to you? No, I've, I've told you this is muhaddith. These, these are muhaddith. And they have said that this is... And you know, funny, he don't speak Arabic, and then he throw Arabic word at us, and this is muhaddith, muhaddith. And, okay, what did muhaddith mean? Well, this is someone who's uh, reporting, narrating. Stupid, I mean, look at the stupidity. Isn't it all the thing is somebody narrating something for you? No, this is muhaddith, muhaddith, this is muhaddith, this is muhaddith. And because people do not know Arabic, suppose he said, like, said, like he said, a word had to do with a nuclear weapon. See the stupidity? Do you see how dumb they are? So, in their Islamic website, it is Sahih or good in the worst scenario. In their speeches in YouTube, oh, we don't accept it. What kind of religion and what kind of God he says such a thing? And look, when he when they say to us that it was ten time and Allah he made it five. I mean, don't you see this is something stupid? Why why Allah he lowered the dose? <laughs> if five can do, why he did not say five from the beginning? Do you see the stupidity? Why it was ten and then it became five? Allah is saving electricity. Allah is going green. Either five is good, and then there's no need for ten. And don't Allah He knew what is best? So obviously the best is five. So why Allah says ten and then He changed it to five? What is this? Allah He noticed later that ten is too much. What is this? How this is can be from God? God, he says 10 times, and then two, two weeks after, God says, make it five. Why? What happened? He thought that Arab women, their breast is bigger. They turn to be smaller, or versus you know, the opposite. This God, he changed his rules, like a cartoon. Look at this guy. Just to show you the stupidity of the Abdul. Hey Abdul, do you like to call me and to read to tell me what you want to say? Abdullah Ibrahim. Hmm? Yeah, this is uh, the same as uh, what his name, the kid Uthman. He was saying to David Wood, <laughs> the, the Bible says the property, <laughs> property, the Bible says the property, <laughs> property, <laughs> property is stupid. The whole Quran says, Malakat Aymanakum. Christian Prince, you are a coward, Bible promotes slavery, yet you speak nothing of it. 
and just go to the Quran, you fool. You are nothing but a coward. The coward is the one who ran to Ethiopia to hide from his people. His name is Muhammad. He ran to the Christians. He bowed down in front of a Christian king, kissing his shoes, asking him for protection. And when they asked him, what do you think about Isa or Jesus? He said, oh, amazing. After he left, he said, let us kill them. Coward. If we go to the Quran right now and we type the word Malakatul Yameen, we will find almost every chapter in the Quran speaking about the one you own by your hand, the property, who they are human. And how many slaves your prophet he uh, <laughs> he, he owned? <laughs> How many, how many slaves Jesus he owned and how many slaves Muhammad he owned? A hundred? Two hundred? You know, when, when, they, uh, 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 when they speak about slavery, this is an example of their deception and lies when all the Quran is about owning human being. Islam not only promoted Islam, increased the number of slaves. The caliphate, they used to have tens of thousands of women, just women, just for breed dancing. They take the best of the women as beauty and they send them to the caliphate palace. Is that your prophet saying? And whatever you own of your right hand? Hmm? The translation says your hand possess when the Arabic says you own your right hand. So you see how they lie and they say the Bible promotes slavery. Slavery in the Bible is seven years maximum and you offer yourself as a slave. Simply, you offer a service for someone, you own him money or you cannot live, make a living. So you say to him, I want to be your slave for uh, five years. In return, you feed me, you feed my family, etc. And you maybe even you pay him. Here, you capture people and you enslave them. Is that your Quran? Where are you, Abdul? The one who said slavery. Is Bilal the slave of your prophet? Is Mary the cook is the slave of your prophet? How many slaves your prophet he have? As long as Muhammad is against slavery, how come he did not free them? The poor Bilal, he, in Muhammad he died and still he is seeking freedom. Slave be obedient to your human masters with fear and trembling and sincere. So, okay. Yeah. You see the stupidity here? Slave be obedient. This is the Christians asking the Christians. Those are Christians. Those slaves are Christians. They are asking them not to be a rebellion and not to go violence. This is not promoting slavery, you coward, son of Muta. Your prophet. Even if he whip your back, and let me show you the hadith. <laughs> You have no idea what you are talking about. And you have no idea. You are talking to who? Let us show you the hadith. And this is Sahih. Where is the hadith? Here we go. You want to laugh? Just to show you the thief Muhammad, he is trying to copy, but he made a very stupid statement, as usual. Read with me and laugh. 
you will listen to the emir your master and carry out his orders even if your back is flogged and your wealth is a snatch you should listen and obey do you see it abdul you are so cute like your prophet do you see it are you there abdul abdul rahim are you there even if he beat the hell of you you have to carry his order even if he flog you you have to carry his order even if he steal your wealth you have to carry his order are you there don't play dead now You see those stupid things you can go and say in different place, not with me. I know all the laundry of Muhammad. All your prophet laundry is here. Huh? Slave, okay, I'm, okay, I'm showing you, no problem. This is the Christian asking the Christian not to be rebellious and not to do violent because if they don't obey, then they will go, you know, bloodshed. Either you kill your master or the master kill you. So this is not about being a slave. This is about not to be violent. Now I'm asking you what kind of a prophet he order you to obey a thief and to obey an unjust person even if he beat you your back even if he flog you and even if he steal your money still you have to carry his order and obey him you see how hypocrite they are the verse in the bible you mentioned because we don't want we are against violence we don't want violence Anything will cause bloodshed is, 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 you know, this is a Christian speaking to the Christian. Those are slaves are Christians. You see, the verse is not speaking to the master because obviously he's not Christian. The verse is speaking to the Christians who they are slaves. Be patient. Don't be violent. Here, your prophet is giving you an order. If you disobey this person, you are against Allah and you have to obey. Coward like your prophet, don't forget to do breastfeeding for adult. Is that about slaves? Yeah, this is about anything. Anything, anyone is in charge of you. Not only about slaves, even about free. Doesn't matter. Anyone he have a threat over you, you have to obey. Even your prophet, he said that if a slave he married without the permission of his master, he is a whore. Is that correct? Or I'm making things up? Any Muslim want to say something? Uh, any Muslim want to say to me you are a, a liar? Anyone? Is it true that if a slave he married without permission of his master, in Islam he is a whore? Anyone? I'm waiting for somebody to say something. Can you say something? Anyone? Who wanna call me from the Abdul? Is that true? You guys idol worshippers? A black stone kisser in the shape of a vagina. Look, look, look at this, look at this. I mean, the Muslims, they come to us and they say what they do and they put it on us. Can you believe it? Look, they are the one who kiss a black stone in the shape of a vagina and actually it was a vagina always. And they claim that we worship, look. Look at this, just to show you. Right now he changed the topic. He don't want to talk about slaves no more. Look at this. 
the black stone kisser which is in the shape of a vagina which is was a vagina always talking about you guys are worshiping you are idol worship or your god burn born out of a vagina okay that's wonderful so if I, my god is born out of a vagina how your stupid god he says he is holy in chapter 19 verse number 19 obviously your god he believe in a holy vagina then because if you're a stupid God, he'd say he is holy. Huh? That's mean this God, he worship vagina too, based on your logic. Praise be to Allah, the vagina worshiper. Here we go. This is your God, Allah, praising the person who is born of a vagina, saying the gift of a holy son. So what came from the vagina? A holy son. So your stupid God is a holy vagina believer. Now he will change the topic. Do you see how they change the topic? He don't want to talk about slave now. He want to talk about. <laughs> don't forget to do breastfeeding for adult, by the way. <laughs> and you know, uh, why the prophet he kissed the black stone and he must can tell us? I'm waiting for the answer. It's a challenge. Here we go. I will put my uh, 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 my screen on the chat. Who is the Muslim when I tell me why the prophet he kissed the black stone. You see, we are assuming now that you are not a pagan and you don't worship idols. I'm waiting for the answer. Why your God, or sorry, your prophet, he kissed the black stone. I'm waiting. Hmm? Any Muslim can tell me? Look, the chat is coming. I don't see any Muslim giving an answer. Why Muhammad, he kissed a black stone? Anyone? Remember, you are the one who says uh, pagan and etc. Let us see who is the pagan. Why you are a prophet, he kissed the black stone? Are you Muslims looking for Google? Why I don't see an answer? Here we go. I put it in the you know, chat. I don't see one single Muslim giving the an answer. Why you are a prophet? He kissed the black stone. I mean, this is, should be a very easy question to answer. Any Muslim can tell us? Let me make the chat slow so I can read it better. It's getting so too, too fast. Okay. We will make it 30 seconds. Or 20 seconds between two. Uh, what's wrong with this? Uh, it doesn't allow anything except maximum one second, maximum. So, why it's not allowed in me? My numbers are not working. Hold on, cancel. Guys, did any Muslim answer why Muhammad is a black stone? Did anyone answer? I did not see it because I was fixing the the speed uh, chat speed. Okay, I'm still waiting for a Mohammedan. I activated now slow chat so we can read better. So who is the Muslim can tell us why Muhammad kissed the black stone? Okay, you give us the headache, you give the Hindu headache, that you are not a pagan, you worship only one God. Okay, your prophet kissed the black stone, why? Why I need to repeat this question a thousand times? Until now, I don't see the answer. Uh, Muhammad Ismail, that's a good question, guys. Look, look, Muhammad Ismail, he cannot answer the question, so he give us a question. He says, where did a prophet say what to worship the stone? Well, by kissing it, he did. Is it kissing it is an act of worship? <laughs> Guys, where the prophet says kiss, uh, 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 worship the black stone? Well, he, he did. And you are following him. All of you Muslim, you go to the Kaaba. You cry in front of it and you put your head inside it. So I'm asking you, why you're a prophet, he kissed the black stone? What is the answer? Are you looking for excuse? So all of you are black stone kissers and yet you go around insulting the Hindus, insulting the Christians, insulting everybody, but nobody is pagan as you are. 
You kiss black stones, you go around the black stone, and you bend in the front of a black stone. The question is still there. Who's going to answer? Why you're a prophet? He kissed the black stone. And did you say interrupt porn? You are right. Kissing, kissing is worship. You worship your wife. You, if you kiss her, <laughs> look. This is a smart Muslim. He was scratching his ass, and he come with this answer. Look at this answer. I bet you he scratched his ass 10,000 times before he put it there. Look at this. You kiss your wife, do you worship her? You idiot, your wife is your wife. Is the black stone the wife of Muhammad? I mean, do you see the stupidity? She is a female. This is sex. This is sexual thing. So are you saying to me that you Muslims, you go and you do masturbate in the front of the black stone, you kiss her? Is that what you are saying now? Are you saying to us that the black stone is a vagina and we are Muslim men, we go and we kiss it? Remember, it is you who compared the black stone to your wife, not me. So what is the connection? The wife is a female. And you are a male, so that's very normal. A male kissing a female. Okay, you are a male kissing the black stone. Why? Scratch your bum again and come with better answer. Scratch it harder, but don't bleed like Muhammad. Look at them, we are asking the same question for the last 15 minutes and not a single Muslim can tell us why they kiss a black stone and why their prophet kissed the stone and why they believe it's a holy stone. We went to Muslim website, we asked them why the prophet kissed the black stone, they said because it's holy and he took him like five minutes to answer and I said why it's holy, he said because the prophet kissed it. Look, what the heck? What they are drinking, what they are eating, what kind of hashish? Why he kiss the black? Why the prophet kiss the black stone? Because it's holy. Why it's holy? Because he kiss it. Okay, but before he kiss it, what it was? It's holy. Thank you. Here we go, guys. It is holy, you fool. Finally, this guy. He took him all this time to give us the answer. Thank you very much. So who's the pagan? <laughs> Who is the pagan? <laughs> this is exactly what paganism is. A holy stone. <laughs> so you came to us and you accuse us to be pagan. After little investigation, we got you busted and it turned to be it is you who believe in holy stones and you need to kiss them. And not only that, touching those stones erase your sin. Who is the pagan? A Muslim, big Muslim shake in the TV, he said, this is Islam. You kiss a stone, you bow in the front of a stone, you go around the stone, and you pray in the direction of a stone. You like it, you don't like it, this is how it is. It's a stone cult. So, it's holy, you fool. Okay. So, the black stone, which is in the shape of a vagina, it is holy. Why? <laughs> you see, you have to squeeze them to come with an answer. It took me the, took me 20 minutes to come with this one. Finally, they gave me something. Okay, now it's holy. Why it's holy? Anyone can tell me why it's holy? And by the way, the black stone is not a black stone. There's no black stone left. There's little tiny stones inside. Look at this. All of this is a fabrication. All of what you say is a fabrication. What is inside this frame is wax. The brown, co the brown color is a wax. The little dots in black, those are what is left of the black stone. <laughs> Allah even could not preserve his vagina. <laughs> what is 
the black stone you are kissing there's no black stone and you know they they they, uh, they are spotting cameras from far because there is many and there's a there's a policeman next to the black stone because many they try to steal and actually already they have little spot missing and they found them in turkey even Erdogan here he, he is proud about having those stone stolen from here this is why they don't allow anyone to bring even a little knife with him because they they, they try to pick it up from this from the from the wax so now what is left over is like seven little little tiny rocks what is the black stone you are kissing the wax and as long the black stone is sent by Allah, where, how come Allah could not preserve his black stone, the holy stone? <laughs> so now we have seven holy stones. <laughs> stone worshippers. Potato. And why you made the shape in the shape of a vagina? Because this is supposedly the original shape. The original shape of the black stone, it was made in a vagina. Women, they used to go when they have their period and they put their hand in their vagina if they are not able to have a child. So they put their hand over their vagina when they have their period and then they place their hand inside the vagina, which is the black stone. And I can show you the reference from your books. Who is a Muslim gonna challenge me? If I cannot show you what I just said from your books, I will apologize for the coming century. The stone came from heaven. Look at this stupid thing. The, guys, the stone came from heaven. Well, Adam came from heaven. Satan came from heaven. You stupid idiot. And this is exactly the correct answer. You see, those, those people, they worship stars. They worship Mitor. So the stone came from heaven anything came from the sky they will make it their god here we go thank you so now it's a holy because it's a stone fell from the sky this is a pagan cult exists before islam and muhammad he adopt whatever that cult teach if we go in the in the hadith we will see what the arab used to do read with me carefully and love And this is Sahih Hadith, this is Sahih Bukhari. Read, read and love. We used to worship stones. This is a person exists in the time of Muhammad. And when we find a better stone, then than the first one, we would throw the first one and take the better, the later. But if we could not get a stone, then we would collect some earth dirt which means soil, and bring a sheep and milk that uh, the milk over it. And perform tawaf around. Do you see the tawaf? The tawaf of the Muslim now they are doing hajj is coming from before Islam, from the pagan practice of the Arab going around stones. What do you think? Did we prove where the stone is coming from? Stone worshippers. And yeah, the stone came from the heaven in the shape of a vagina. Allah, he made it in the shape of a vagina. Hey, Allah, he liked vagina, what you can say about it. So look at this religion. Breastfeeding for adult. Muta. Women, she can give her vagina for three days, three nights. Kissing black stone. Black stone is holy. Black stone erase your sin. Black stone is going to have eyes. Can you believe it? The black stone is going to have eyes and tongue. Now, the title of our topic today, Allah, a God with five fingers. Why I made this title? Because a Muslim, he says, you worship a God, he is a man. <laughs> he Muslims, your God is not a man, so he's what? Your God is not a man, right? He's what? He have five fingers. 
you have a shame let me open uh, a picture of Allah the last updated pictures of Allah how Allah look like the hadith says and which mean Muhammad said that Allah have five fingers Muslims why Allah have five fingers you see my God he came as a man if you say God cannot come as a man, as a man then he cannot be God because God he can do whatever he want so the logic of Muslim that God he cannot that's mean that God cannot be God anyway because the second you say to God you cannot be this or that you are telling God what he can be and that will not make him God no more we call God Almighty because he is a person of might power so there's no nothing can stop him from being whatever he wish you Muslim you say God cannot be a man okay no problem that's mean your God cannot be God secondly your God cannot be a man, but he have five fingers. Why? Let's start with the first limb he have. Why Allah he has five fingers? Any Muslim can tell us? You see, everything we have have a purpose. When Jesus came to us, God, he took the form of a man. There was a purpose so he can be with us as a man. So he can speak to us as a man. He humbled himself. So he come as a man. Okay, why Allah who is not a man, supposedly, he have five fingers. Any Muslim can tell us? It's out of God majesty to come as a man. That's wonderful, guys, here we go. It's out of God majesty to come as a man so if Allah come as a man he will be in, like it's an insult it's an insult to Allah that's wonderful so why Allah have five fingers isn't it this what the man have it is not insult to Allah to have five fingers like me so Mr. Abdul Rahim why Allah has five fingers you said it's an it is not out of God majesty to come as a man. It is out of God majesty to have five fingers. Do your God Allah feel more majestic after getting his five fingers and his nails done? Do you see the stupidity? Okay. Why Allah he have a foot? Any Muslim can tell us why Allah he has a foot. Is it majestic for Allah to have a foot? Are we going to see Allah joining the football team soon? Any Muslim? Why he have a foot? So notice with me, Allah is not a man, but Allah have a shin, Allah have a foot, Allah have a hands. Allah have two hands, and both of them are on the right side. You have a you have a defect, birth defect. So what is Allah? Who is a Muslim is willing to call me and tell me who is Allah, how he look like, based in what your prophet he said. I don't want to add a single word to what your prophet said. Whatever your prophet said, we will take it. Is that fair, people? Whatever Muhammad said, Muhammad is the founder, you know, of the new cult of Islam. Islam is just a newborn cult, like, you know, he adopt some from the pagan Arab, and he is a pagan himself. Some from the Christians, some from the Jews, some from the Sabians, some from the Hindus. He made a cocktail. So now the God of Islam is a cocktail too. Allah is not a man, but he has five fingers. Allah is not a man, but he has a shin. 
Allah is not a man, but you have a foot. Allah is not a man, but you have a face. Allah is not a man, but you have two eyes. Allah is not a man, but you have two ears. So what is Allah? Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> you know, the Muhammadan, they go around and they were flagging some videos of their sheikhs. You know, there's some sheikhs, they made videos about Muhammad, about Allah, reporting what their prophet said. All the videos, which is describing Allah, I noticed Muslims are flagging them, even those are made by sheikhs. Very shaky shake. Uh, this is Zakir Naik here. Hey, brother is it, sir. Yes, does not know the shortcoming of human being. He becomes the human being. Where where you get this from? Where it says in the Bible that God do not know how a human being feels. <laughs> <laughs> this is Zakir Naik explaining. No, he became a shen and you know. You see how they lie? I mean unbelievable. Go, go, Abdul. <laughs> in the face of it, very good logic. Almighty God, so holy, so pure, so pious, does not know the shortcomings of human beings. He becomes the human being. Where, where you get this from? Where it says in the Bible that God do not know how a human being feels. <laughs> <laughs> and understand the system, and then he says what is good, what is wrong for the human being. Ah, okay. For example, if I make a VCR, a video cassette recorder, do I have to become a video cassette recorder to know? Man, do I have to come a VCR to know how VCR work? That's a good thing. So why Allah have five fingers? Do he have to have five fingers to feel how five fingers feel? <laughs> Let us go to the to the uh, fingers. Hold on. To breathe. <laughs> Give me the answer about why Allah he have hands and face. Let us move it a little bit. This stupid thing. Misunderstand and say, okay, Allah has got hands. Allah has got form. So isn't it going against the argument? The answer is given in Surah Shura, chapter number 42, verse number 11. That, Laisa Kamisli Shay. You look at this answer, nothing like Allah. We get it, we get it, nothing like Allah. He's an idiot. He is the only idiot in the village. But this is will not solve the problem. Why Allah have hands? Nothing like Allah. We got it. And by the way, this is something you took from the Old Testament where it says nothing like God. Even this one is a theft. But this is not about hands and foot, you idiot. It's about holiness, about being almighty. Otherwise, everybody have hands. Even lizard have, hand, have a hand, have five fingers. I think whatever like him. What does have to do with question? Do Allah have hands or not? <laughs> Nothing like him, guys. Nothing like him, but he, is have, he have two hands. But we have two hands too. You just said nothing like him. He have a face, we have face too. <laughs> he have a foot, we have foot too. He have five fingers, we have five fingers too. But nothing like him. Nothing like him, brother. Now the question is, do Allah have hands or not? Give us the answer. It's like Allah, there's nothing. He hears and he sees. But he doesn't see and hear like you and me. Ah. Allah says in the Quran, وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفَّانَ هَا Then Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 4. There's nothing like him. Ah. Again in Surah Shura, chapter... You strip it. This is not what it says, nothing like him. They said, لَهُ كُفْأُنْ I had nothing is equal to him, you donkey. It doesn't say, he doesn't even know what he's talking about. Go ahead, continue. Number 42, verse number 11. There's nothing comparable anything to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when... Nothing comparable to Allah. And then Allah in the Quran says, Allah is the same as a light in the niche. Same as a tree, same as a burning oil. This is stupidity. The Quran says nothing can be compared to Allah. And then Allah, he compared himself to a tree. Allah himself, he compared himself to a tree. But nothing can be compared to Allah. Allah himself, he compared himself to a niche. But nothing like Allah. <laughs> nothing is comparable to Allah. Is it? This is Quran. Allah Himself comparing Himself to a niche. <clears throat> Read with me to show you the stupidity of this religion. Allah is the light of the heaven. 
The example of his light is like the niche, the niche, which is in the lamp, and the lamp is in a glass, and the glass where it's in a, it's in oil, and the oil is burning and growing, growing. But you just said no, nothing can be compared to Allah. So how Allah compare Himself to a lamp, have oil in it, it's burning, and oil coming from a tree. See those people, they they can they can be sound like they knew what they are talking about as long as the audience are a bunch of idiots. Imagine this guy is talking to me. What will happen to him? In a second, we will spank him. Is it is this Allah comparing himself to a tree, and then to a niche, and then to a lamp, which powered by the the, the fire of it is it from oil? And Allah gave example to people, and he is knowing of all things. So Allah gave an example of his light, but he is light himself, supposedly. Let us go back to Zakura. Okay, Zuk. Go, Zuk, Zuk. And Allah talks about hands. It's not like the hands that we have got. Five fingers, like this line. Allah. Huh? Not like uh, five fingers. When Allah talks about hands, it's not like the hand that we have got. Five fingers, like this line. Allah. Huh? Just to show you that this guy, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Allah has five fingers. <laughs> what this guy is talking about? This guy is a scar. The screen is off. Don't, don't cry. Let me find the video. <laughs> Allah, brother, sister, Allah don't have five fingers like us, brother. You have a hand, yes, but he don't have five fingers like us. Zakir Naik saying so, and all the Abdul are listening, looking to him like he is a scholar, like yeah, he knows what he's talking about. Oh, come on, doctor, this is, this is Dr. Zakura. Dr. Zico in the field. Hey, Zico, 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 goal, Zico. Zico, he found that Allah have no five fingers. It's not like our hand, we have five fingers, no. Hmm? Is it possible that not a single Abdul in between the audience, he noticed that this guy is an idiot and he's saying stupid things? Is it possible? Is it possible that a single a Muslim, he know that this is not true? But let me see if I can move it to the point where he speak about the fingers. Remember, he just said, Second night, we got him busted saying, Allah, he didn't have fingers like us, you know. Let us see. Uh, here. It says that a Jew came to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A Jew came to who? And he said to him, Ya Muhammad. Look at the way they speak. Ya Muhammad, not Ya Rasulullah. Ya Muhammad. Allah Ta'ala will place all the heavens on a finger. Allah Ta'ala will place all the mountains on a finger. Allah Ta'ala will place all the trees on a finger. Allah Ta'ala will place all of the creation on a finger. And then he will say, I am the king. Upon that, the king of fingers. Muhammad Sallam smiled and to his premolar teeth became visible and he recited Ma Allah haqqa qadri. They made not a just estimate of Allah such as is due to him. Abdullah the narrator said the reason why he smiled is to express his wonder and his belief in what the Jew said. So what does this prove that Allah has? Has? A finger. A fingers. <laughs> a fingers. I am the king. Fingers. I can finger everyone here. Allah have five fingers. Who is like Allah? Nobody like Allah. He have five fingers. And Zach and I saying to us, one say to us, Allah is not like us, have five fingers, like hand, we have hand, okay, Allah have a hand. But Allah had hand, have five fingers? No. He's, that's what he's saying. You see how they lie? But all Muslims believe that Allah has five fingers. 
Allah have foot, Allah have shin, Allah have... What those people are talking about? <laughs> but we just heard Zach and Nick saying Allah have no fingers. <laughs> This is me, I was laughing last year. <laughs> Here we go, he can't breathe no more. Allah have a finger. And nothing like Allah. I mean, we have to admit, nothing like Allah. Allah have five fingers. Allah have a foot. But nothing like Allah. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing like Allah. <laughs> so, anyway, Zach and Nike agree that Allah have a hand, but is it like hand like us? Allahu alam. At the end of all this garbage, he say how Allah hand look like Allahu alam, which we Allah knows best. And then hand how Allahu alam. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. so supposedly this guy is giving us the explanation. Allah, after all this speech, which was like an hour, the conclusion. Allah have hands? How his hand look like? Allah <laughs> Hey brother and sisters, Zach and Nike just open a new classroom to join and gain knowledge. The classroom name is Allah Alam. So from the end to the beginning, don't waste your time. Arrive at the end of the class because at the end he will say to you, Allah Alam. <laughs> So Muslims, Allah is not a man, but he have five fingers. Why? Allah is not a man, but he have a foot. Why? Who want to help us? It's a genuine question. Your God is not a man. Okay, wonder, no problem. We got it. We got it. Why he have a feature of uh, this guy? Because everything you say to us, is here is that Allah <laughs>